in my mind, I have Steve Carell, right? It's definitely Steve Carell. I think so. I think so too. And he goes, that's nice. Like that, right? I think so. I've heard that somewhere. I thought it was from The Office. We can't find it. If you know the reference, please let me know because I keep saying it. I yeah. don't know where it's, it's from. It's like we keep quoting it, but we have no idea what we're quoting. I'm sure it's Steve Carell. It has I to be. I feel like it's from The Office, but. I thought it was from The Office too. That's nice. That. That's nice. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So we have our backsplash. It's, it's actually like all washed out because oh, you'll notice we out. have lighting. No, it's just so bright right now. Do you see? We that, have a backsplash. That looks amazing. It looks yeah. so good. We love it. Don't recommend doing herringbone, but also do. It took two <laughs> full days. How late did we work on Tuesday? I want to say it was like... It was 11 like 11 or 11 30 but it turned out awesome yeah. i'm super happy with it it turned out amazing uh we did the herringbone pattern and this is marble which we didn't think we were going to end up going with marble because they really scared us away from marble right. when we were looking at countertops but we did the marble here and then we used a sealer, sealer mm -hmm. a liquid sealer and put it over the top supposedly it lasts 20 years i think backsplashes are going to be better than like a counter because things literally just sit on the counter whereas you might only get backs like splashes on the backsplash and we like extra sealed the area by the stove but I think it'll be good. Time yeah. will tell. <laughs> All we have left is grout. There's no grout. And put the covers back on. Yep. And that's it. And then we are done. Yeah. And this is like how the over cabinet lighting is looking and yes. under cabinet lighting. So under Kyle, over. turn it off because honestly, it makes such a huge difference. Yep. Everybody watch out for your <laughs> smart home devices. Alexa, <laughs> turn off cabinet lights. Okay, so like look at how different it looks. I mean, it still looks really nice, but like the under cabinet lighting just really highlights it all, especially the backsplash and the counter and everything. Alexa, turn on cabinet light. Isn't that so pretty? And we did all the lighting ourselves. Yeah. It was super easy. To that was over on the, on the This Crazy Life channel. Yeah, that was over on the This Crazy Life channel. Uh, we did all the lighting ourselves. It took two hours not very to long to do all of it it was super easy yeah yeah a lot of this was way easier than i thought except for the backsplash was horrible but it <laughs> worth turned out it. awesome it turned out really good it was definitely worth it and then also in that video i changed these bar stools to match the other ones so all of these i got at different times from facebook marketplace i mean like i got this set and then i got this set but they totally look like they match and we've been having dinners and things like that on the island all together as a family because we finally have five seats and it's just super exciting and then amanda broke the faucet in half so i did not break did the faucet Yes. I don't know what happened. The faucet's been great, but like literally I was just like washing dishes and I like pulled the faucet piece down last night and like the whole part of the faucet like came forward and I was like, Kyle, what? <laughs> what is this? He's like, all right, put it back. I'll fix it tomorrow. So this plate on the bottom and this tube right here, they're separate and there's just three little tiny screws on the inside. That's it. Yeah. All the other ones I've seen is that because there's a big rod that goes down that, you know, it's real sturdy. All the ones I've seen, it goes up through here. So that way that's really sturdy. But yeah, this just, it broke off right here. So this morning we took it all apart and then put epoxy in all the screw holes and around all the flanges and stuff here. And it's still carrying. We have about another two hours. That's why this is here. <laughs> do not use this for another two hours, please. Hopefully that'll do it. If it doesn't. Then we'll call the company and yeah, be like, we'll send us a new one because it's like a month old. What we should do is if we get a new one, we should take that one apart, mm -hmm. epoxy it all, and then put it back together with the screws and that one. Yeah. But I feel like it was probably just a fluke thing because I looked online. Like I've read so many reviews on Amazon, on Home Depot, on Lowe's, like all the places yeah. you can get it. Everyone seemed to have great things to say about it. And we've loved it. Aside from other that, than it's that been one really cool. yeah. issue, but. Especially the RO thing. This is the Oh coolest. yeah, we've loved the having the RO the filter water. like right in the faucet. Yeah, yeah. That's it's really super cool. nice. But anyway, we were actually planning on grouting in the house projects video that we shared on monday everything just took so long that we were like all right we're gonna have to like end this video because we need to work on like getting it all ended and ready to go up we'll just vlog about it i guess because we also haven't even picked the grout so i think we're gonna do a lighter 
grout. Originally, we didn't want to do any grout and then changed our mind. Thank goodness for that because yeah. the walls aren't straight, Nothing the tiles straight. are imperfect. We need a lot of wiggle room with things, but we did end up kind of changing our mind on the end at the last minute and we did basically just like one of these tiles, but we cut it in half and we kind of use that as a border. So we have it like there, we have it right here on this edge over here and where we call our hot cocoa bar because this is where we do that right on that edge and then we also did it in the butler's pantry you can't see it but there's like yeah, it's all framed out yeah framed out right there too and we just crossed the threshold like two weeks ago maybe of living in this house for two years and it's funny because i think like we had the idea that when we moved in like we would do the kitchen within a few months of moving in and Clearly that didn't happen, but it's life. yeah, <laughs> I think everybody does that. I know sometimes I'm like, man, like we have not done a whole ton to this house, but then it's like, really, we have done a lot. It's just been, you know, little bits here and there. Like we'll do a bathroom makeover and a boys room makeover and whatever. Like we'll tackle little spaces at a time, but really like, we're actually gonna do like an updated home tour pretty soon because we really don't have that many spaces left and it's like such a different house now. I feel like if we yeah. walked in here now, it's compared totally to the first, yeah. yeah, so different now. Super side note and very random, the induction cooktop. Oh yeah. Amazing. We've had it for, how long have we been using this now? Three weeks? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah, maybe three weeks. It has been amazing. We like dinner cooking last night, with it is breezy. amazing. Yeah, we've had it for, we've cooked on it like every night and I have yet to use anything other than water and just a cloth on just it, that's it. Boom, done. Because the stovetop itself like doesn't actually get hot. And I explain it probably wrong. I'm like, oh, it's it uses magnets, magnets it does. to cook. That's exactly what it does. I don't know yeah. how it uses it. I just know it uses it. I just imagine like two magnets getting pushed together. It's like, mmm, cooking. <laughs> like, obviously that's not how it <laughs> no, goes. I, mean, but I don't know. That it vibrates sound stupid it or something? If I try to um, yeah, like vibrates the molecules in the pan. With magnets or something. Yeah, just ask your appliance yeah. guys how it works. Why are you even talking about this? Like, <laughs> we got so off track. Point is, we talked a lot about this. Cooktop yeah. induction is awesome. If you're thinking about doing it, highly recommend. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, we were like very unsure about it. And I feel like it's not a super common thing. Way less common than electric and less common than gas. And so we didn't know anybody personally that had it. Actually, some of you guys have said that you had it. And I think a majority had said you guys liked it. But yeah, we've, we've loved it. So anyway, we actually are chatting, but we don't have like a whole ton of time because yeah. I don't know how long this is going to take to grout everything. But we need to get this done today because in a few weeks, we're actually like going on a trip to Montana and we have like a million things to do before then so like pretty much every day is packed so we have to get this a done million, two days. Exaggerate. It's Not only 900,000 things. <laughs> maybe. Uh, maybe a few more. Yeah. <laughs> anyway so yeah we are gonna head down I think back to Florin decor where we got the backsplash. We actually have a few things to return like the tester oh, tiles. I'm glad you said that I totally yeah. forgot about that. Yeah. yeah we have some things to return while we're there and then we'll pick the grout and we'll take you guys along with us. All right. One two three let's go. one we picked this is it so so that's more like a does it say oh that's biscuit that's the yeah oh we thought the tiles were biscuit Turns no out we figured it out these are biscuits i didn't it's, i didn't figure it out did oh, you figure it out yeah me and the the lady that i was asking about she told me about uh, it i did not know what what about this color this is avalanche because like this is kind of the avalanche. same color i almost like this because i feel like it's kind of blends more. What do you think? I hate to just copy what they have. Also, that looks pretty dang good. Yeah, I like that it kind of is like a middle ground between all the different tiles. Yeah, it does blend very nice. All right, so this is the one. I get a basket. A biscuit, we just have to make sure that it's non-sanded grout and then it should be good. And then we also grabbed some sponges and then this is some caulk that is like the same color as the grout so that when we need to go along like the bottom edge, it'll all match. 
Okay, so we're back home, obviously. The first thing we want to do is cover the counter with this like brown paper. Oh, I'm not going to we'll, make the same mistake as last Yeah, and then we'll tape it off just to protect the counters a little bit, and then we'll get to grouting. But the butler's pantry area is like, I, I love this area, but it's not the main part of the kitchen. So this is where all our mistakes are being made because this is where we are starting. <laughs> the test zone. Yeah, this is yeah. our test zone all the time, so. Sorry about this pantry, you don't get the, the really perfected areas. What do you think, Amanda? I think it looks really nice. This looks amazing. Yeah, and then we'll caulk around the bottom. Yep. It's I think it'll look really, really nice. I like the color. I think it just like kind of matches and blends, which is what we wanted. Like we didn't want like hard grout lines. Yeah, I think we chose the right color for sure. It looks really nice. It looks more finished, obviously, which I guess makes sense. But yeah. this looks awesome. I'm super happy with it. The color worked out really well. That's how it's looking. We'll still have to caulk around the bottom and Kyle will have to put the outlet covers on. We have the butler's pantry done. This is the last one. So yeah, you can see like that uncalked look and it just looks so much more finished uncalked over here. Look? Yeah. Is that a thing, the uncalked look? I don't know. That's what it is this time. <laughs> oh, ungrouted, that's what I mean. <laughs> Time. We're just cleaning up. That's it. Just clean it. You ready to get a headache? Next time, oh. we'll oh, go what? into the boys' bathroom. What? Oh. Not till after our vacation. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> we do have we do have that coming up. I do enjoy the projects. I just it's a lot. This kitchen was a lot, and um, I'm I'm over it. I am too. I love it, but I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah.
kitchen is done we just All did our done. family nightly pickup so the house is clean I was like it's done we're done and I'm like really like are you sure and I'm trying to go through the list like is there more because there is always more and it just doesn't well I mean there's it looks always, done but it doesn't feel done because it's never done there's always more <laughs> right. to be done but what the things we set out to do is done and all of it has been shared on either this channel or the This Crazy Life channel. Yeah. So you guys kind of just watched it come together piece by piece. And it feels so surreal that it's actually done. It but weird. It I love it. Stuff. Anyway, I think we are actually just going to get dinner at like 8 o'clock <laughs> at night. I mean, and then just chill for the rest of the night because it has been a busy few weeks, huh? What do you want to do tonight? Because um, the boys are out for the summer. Watch a movie. Watch a movie. We might watch a movie. Go to maybe Montana and go to popcorn. Disney and maybe go ski. Wow, you have a lot of plans. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do tonight. Watch a movie, go to Disney and go skiing. We have yeah. a busy night ahead of us. We got us. a busy night ahead of us. We only have about 30 <laughs> minutes to do it, so we should probably go. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go ahead and end the, end the vlog here, but we will see you in the next one. Bye, Bye guys. guys.